There we go. Hello, everybody. Killer Tia Chris Wright here at PAX East 2022. And we're here with Augie here. How are you doing today? Doing great. I'm excited. I haven't done PAX in two years. It's great to be back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and now we are checking out um, a new take on the familiar Dungeon Defender from here called Going Rogue. So, how did you guys come up with the concept? Yes, so imagine Dungeon Defenders in roguelike form. So you have the action RPG with some tower defense aspects stuck in a roguelike fashion. So you got permadeath, you've got randomized hero abilities, you got randomized maps, and best yet, you have boss arena fights. Boss arena fights. Full stop. Okay, now I've been looking. I've been looking at a few people online talking about game, and there have been some debates on whether it's just been like a standalone release or part of a DLC for the regular Dungeon Defender Awakening games. Um, have you guys thought about them? What would the advantage or disadvantage of going like download or DLC? Yeah, um, that's a great question. Well, if we made it as a DLC, we well, would have to charge ten, fifteen dollars on top of the twenty-nine dollars for Dungeon Defenders Awakening. Well, you know what? Why don't we just split it off and just charge ten, fifteen dollars so everyone can enjoy it at a reduced price? And if you ever play the game, the gameplay of Dungeon Defenders Awakening compared with Dungeon Defenders Going Rogue. It's so much different. It's not like a simple like, oh, the map sort of looks like this, or this line hit looks like this. The ability, the progression, it's very much different. Almost a new game style, which it is. And it, of course, it's also been released on the Steam Early Access. Um, what are the advantages of doing like the only Early Access besides like going completely gold on the game? Well, we want to polish the game more. We want to get feedback. Like every. Very often, like last week, we put out a survey asking people, what do you like of this update? What do you like of this iteration? What do you want to see more of? So we want to get the polish, get it perfectly ready for 1.0 launch so we can be proud of it. So we, we're asking people to get into early access to help us make a better game. Okay, so we got like going well, we got Awaken, and you also still continuing to support um, Dungeon Defenders 2. Um, is it challenging to continue to pull for all three games? Um, well, we have, we have some great developers, and we have actually several teams within our company. And we have a team dedicated to Dungeon Defenders 2. We have a team dedicated to Dungeon Defenders Going Rogue. And our community is our, our, is our biggest resource. We have such a vibrant community still making content for our first game, Dungeon Defenders 1. And between all that, we're able to achieve everything we want. Um, speaking of contest, um, content, you just actually announced a brand new character for Going War. Can you tell us about her? Absolutely. So the Warden we're showing here at PAX for the first time, and it will be updated and put into Dunford's Going Rogue very soon, very soon. Okay, and uh, are, we look are we going to be looking forward to any more content in Going Rogue as well? Absolutely. More bosses, more levels, more heroes. They're all coming to Dunford's Going Rogue. Awesome, and I might be going up slightly off topic here, but I noticed you also have made a trading card game oh, yeah. of this. So tell us about this. Yeah, so um, one of our designers on his weekends decided to make a card game, a PvP card game. And um, this is something that we're only selling on packs right now, so uh, come and get it. Yeah, I thought you only have like two copies left. Oh, uh, yeah, we only have six copies left, and when they're gone, they're gone. So, so are we look, are they going to be like more in production of the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put another order in, but that'll be July. So, July. okay, so can you tell us a little bit more about how the game, the card game plays? Um, yeah, so, um, one player plays as a defending um, uh, hero, and the other player plays as uh, the bad guy. You guys go at each other in card form. Here we go. Okay, well, well, we'll definitely get some more game time with the cards soon, but okay, you said July for this. Um, yeah. How long do you plan on having going rogue as an early access game? Um, it'll be a while. We want to get this really polished, so 
it'll be it'll be near Lexus for a while so we can get it perfect where everyone's happy and then release it formally as a 1.0 and then everyone can be happy about it okay and obviously we are playing on PC um, are there any other platform being considered for going work as well yes yes we, we announced that we will be porting this to consoles and we'll have more information of that soon <laughs> okay. well thank you very much for your time thank you no problem and keep it here for more PAX East coverage